bottom of another load coming off of MCC 111 and 211. And that is the battery chargers. news is that plenty of space. All right, so battery. We've got two battery banks that are both 125 volts DC. have a switchboard coming off of those and some loads tap across just half of it and other loads tap across both and use 250. So what what are some examples of the DC loads? So it doesn't quite go to the DCS, it goes to inverters. Inverters. Well, yeah. The, the breakers are in the, the same room that has the inverters. They're in the, in the, you've got battery chargers on one side of the room, you've got inverters on the other, you got this switch gear on the same side as the battery chargers. So inverters then go to 120 AC to the DCS. There's also loads that come off that go to the switch gear. So all the switch gear that is remotely operated gets signals from the DC bus. What else comes off the DC bus with actual moving parts? Emergency uh, loop oil. Emergency loop oil and emergency seal oil pump. There's like two or three other little panels that come off this, and I, oh, the exciter. Before the exciter is powered from the uh, trans, the main, the 23 kV power in itself, it gets its initial spark off the DC bus. I don't know what else. Uh, This is coming off MCC 111 or 211. What discharge is that? Uh, if you go into that inverter room, on the left hand side, there's big boxes there. On the right hand side is the inverter, and on the left hand side is this breaker rack here. know what you would ask you about the inverters. I mean, they take DC and they make 120 volt AC that is super reliable. And we got two of them. We got two inverters and they both go into the same header. Same wiring header, what you said. Um, and there's also a bypass for the inverters. So the inverters have 480 going to them so that you have a switch that you can just say, no, no battery, we're gonna, but we still wanna run all the 120 volt AC loads. 
Fellas. So most of this stuff is in the DCS room downstairs. It's also a few emergency lights and outlets up here in the control room. And then there is a panel in the demon building, and there is a panel out in the AQCS. And so all the AQCS PLTs are supposed to be run off uh, these inverters. And all of the, uh, there's an ovation cabinet out there, ovation relay box, and that's powered off of it. One of its two power supplies is off of it. That might be it, guys. I think I'm spent. So yeah, two battery banks, and you see them when you go into the, when you do your uh, checks on the battery. You guys, is it part of rounds to do the uh, electrolyte checks? Yeah. So you just go and check. The levels of yeah. the physical temperature of the stuff in there. The temperature in the room and then the levels. And I think there's a hydrogen de detector outside the room. Exhaust fan running. Okay. Um, the hydrogen detector is because when those batteries are, are heavily running, with, uh, then it turns that water into hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, that it's just an alarm that goes to the DCS though. And I don't know what you would do about it because if you need them, you need them, yeah. right? I should have said this earlier, but the Jeremiah thing is only boiler essential for our test. Boiler essential? Yes. Yeah. But we covered that. We Yes, yeah. we covered the <laughs> but when you said something, he might not ask you that. I should have clarified that. That he's definitely not going to ask you that. Yeah. Because all he's really going to ask you about is Bear MCT back. 112 and 212. Rotor air heaters, lubeable pumps for the fans, lubeable pumps for the uh, pulverizers. That's from that. generator to boiler essentials. Yes. Oh, from generator to boiler essentials. Yes. Okay. Plus three. All right, I'm done.